What up everybody? Thanks for watching today. This is the Far West Saint channel where all I talk about are fitness tips that save you money. Today's video should be helpful for those of you who are either on the keto diet, looking to get on the keto diet, or if you're just looking for some healthier, low carb food options. I'm gonna cover 10 keto friendly restaurants that you can find on DoorDash, Grubhub, or Uber Eats. So you're gonna to wanna to watch this video all the way through to the end because I'm gonna throw out a lot of detail in terms of what these restaurants or who these restaurants are and obviously the things that you can order on the menu. So go ahead, hit that like button right now, hit the subscribe button right now, and I'll be right back after this. Whether it's takeout or delivery, most of you use DoorDash, Grubhub, or Uber Eats, especially since COVID has made it difficult to actually eat inside of a restaurant. In this list, I'm gonna show you 10 restaurants that are keto friendly and obviously are found on these apps. My criteria for developing this list is the following. Number one, these are chain restaurants found on DoorDash, Grubhub, or Uber Eats. Number two, I pick chain restaurants that are found throughout the United States and Canada. That way, you at home can actually order what we discuss in this video. But shout out to my viewers in the UK, India, Australia also. Hopefully you can find similar restaurants in your area. Number three. Lastly and most importantly, the list is in order based off of the number of keto friendly food items on the restaurant's menu. For example, restaurant 10 will have significantly less options than restaurant nine, eight, seven, and so on until we get to number one, okay? Cool. Oh, also, I will cover menu items for each restaurant. Number 10, Kentucky Fried Chicken. And I know what some of you are thinking, how is this keto friendly? But they do have grilled chicken, or at least at most restaurants they do. As you can see here, the nutritional facts for grilled chicken, very keto friendly. And don't forget about the side, they do have green beans. KFC is coming in at number 10, of course, because this is it. These two, grilled chicken, green beans, they had the fewest keto friendly items on their menu, so that's why they're number 10. Okay, at number nine, we have a tie. And that's because both restaurants are pretty much similar or they offer very similar menu items. At number nine, we have Buffalo Wild Wings and Wingstop. Now I'm not here to argue which one tastes better. I'm only doing this to inform. <laughs> argue amongst yourselves in the comment section if it's really that serious for you. But Buffalo Wild Wings and Wingstop do not bread or add flour to their traditional wings. So as long as you stay with their traditional wings, you'll be fine. Now, most importantly are the sauces and seasonings. And on the screen right now, you can see the sauces and seasonings for both restaurants that are keto friendly. And obviously anything that's keto friendly will work for you low carb dieters out there who aren't keto. Now let's not forget the dipping sauces. Both blue cheese and ranch can be eaten as well. As for the sides, just load up on the celery that they give you. Now specifically with Buffalo Wild Wings, they offer salads, but I would recommend not even eating their salads because they're higher in carbs. But if you just have to have a salad from Buffalo Wild Wings, choose their grilled chicken Caesar salad without croutons because it has the lowest carb count out of any of their salads, which are pretty high in carbs to begin with. Number eight, Blaze Pizza. You don't have to worry about missing this one because on their menu, it's literally called Keto Crust. One slice on average is about five grams of net carbs. If you eat the whole 11 inch pizza, that's at least 25 to 30 grams of net carbs, depending on the toppings that you choose. So if you are on the keto diet and your macros allow for you to eat up to 50 grams of carbs a day, this is not a bad option for you. But if your macros only allow you to eat up to 25 to 35 grams of carbs per day, then this is an option that you probably wanna stay away from. If you don't know how to calculate your macros or if you're unsure how to calculate your macros, don't worry. I did a video a few weeks ago and I'll link it to the description below. It's called easiest way to calculate your macros for fat loss without using math. Watch that video after this one. 
In that video, I share my screen and show you how to calculate your macros using three different websites. You can calculate your macros for free without using math or any of those complex equations. And I also share how to take that information and put it into apps like MyFitnessPal. Number seven is Yard House. No list will be complete without throwing at least one bar on there. So Yard House is number seven. And as you can see on the screen, there are some popular options for you to consider. I'll leave those up while I address alcohol. Now, obviously, you can't just order alcoholic drinks, uh, at least in most states, on food delivery apps. But this information should be helpful should you choose to dine in at Yard House or buy drinks for home. Most straight whiskeys, vodkas, tequilas, and cognacs are low carb or even carb free. Now, if you mix them or chase them, you want to mix them or chase them with a sugar free or low carb beverage. Number six, Jimmy John's. Gotta have a sandwich shop on there. See, I'm covering all the bases. So just hit that like button right now because it only gets better. Clearly, the only option at Jimmy John's to get if you're on keto would be a delicious Unwitch, which is their lettuce wrap sandwich. They can make all their sandwiches into lettuce wraps for the most part, which allows you to take advantage of most, if not the entire menu from a sandwich perspective. No sides here. Number five is Olive Garden. You probably don't think Olive Garden or Italian food when you think keto, but like I told you, I'm not discriminating here. I'm covering all bases. As you can see on the screen, there are several menu items that you can eat at Olive Garden that are keto friendly. But most importantly, that famous salad of theirs is totally keto friendly as long as you skip out on the croutons. And you thought I was going to skip out on breakfast. Number four is IHOP. They basically cook eggs any way you want them. They got veggies. They got meat. They got you covered for breakfast. Let's not forget lunch. They got you covered there too, as you can see on the screen. And lastly, they serve breakfast all day and it's cheap. Number three, the Cheesecake Factory. Now don't be fooled by their dessert menu. They say they have a low carb version of their cheesecake and although it's lower in carbs, it's still a lot of carbs like 35 or 40 grams. So if you're keto, just stick to the apps and entrees that I have listed on the screen here. Lastly. The Cheesecake Factory does have the Impossible Burger and they can wrap that in lettuce for you. Don't let them tell you otherwise. Definitely checking off the seafood box with number two, number two, Red Lobster. As you can see on the screen, they have a lot of options that can be keto friendly. Unfortunately, those cheddar biscuits are no go for keto, but don't worry. So many things in their menu are up for grabs and that's why they're checking in at number two plus you can find a lot of opportunity to hit your daily fat intake from a macros perspective here as well. Finally, we make it to number one, and it's a tie between Chipotle and Qdoba. And that's because their menu items are very, very similar. Also, this list wouldn't be complete without Latin food. At Qdoba and Chipotle, you want to go with their naked burrito bowl, no beans, no rice, that's because that's not keto friendly. But outside of that, load it up with the meat you want, the veggies, the peppers, pico de gallo, guac, cheese, and whatever else is keto friendly. This should be your go-to meal on these apps because it's so keto friendly and it's quick. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found this information to be helpful, let me know in the comment section. Also, if you have any questions, put them in the comment section. I'll try to get back to them as soon as I possibly can. I upload to this channel weekly so hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell so you don't miss any more of the upcoming content lastly please hit that like button if you enjoyed the video it's important that you hit the like button because it does help me out with the google algorithm see you guys next time peace